How's it going everybody and welcome to Cub Fans Minecraft. Today is episode 92 of Cub Fans Minecraft Let's Play. And we are in the snapshot 13W25A, so a pretty recent snapshot. And today guys, I think we're, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, first check out how many days have passed in the world. Because I'm kind of curious to see how this is doing. Oh, there's the dog up there. And 41 days have passed in the world so far. Um, so what I'm planning to do this episode is do a little bit of maintenance around the house. Poor dog. So, uh, what I want to do is I first want to make a map room up in this area here. I'm not exactly sure where I want to put it, but maybe back in this area. I want to get rid of all this stuff. So there's nothing in there and we don't use this area anymore. So we'll get rid of all this stuff. Get rid of the cauldrons. Relocate the crafting table. And I'm thinking about possibly putting it in here. Um, so maybe expand, expanding this out a little bit. Uh, making a map room back that way. I think that would be fairly nice. Um, and then also, uh, maybe in the future, expanding this wall here. Uh, it's kind of tough because we have to work around the elevator, but we'll see if we can manage it. And I'm going to go ahead and sleep right now. Badu. Alright, and then if you remember in some previous episodes, I mentioned that some of the stuff has broken since 1.5 came out, and I have just not gotten around to it at all. And so those things are the chicken farm and the cookie maker. Uh, everything else, wheat farm, that mushroom farm, uh, cocoa bean farm, cactus farm, sugarcane farm, tree farm, those are all fine. But I gotta tear those down as well. So I might as well start over here with the chicken farm. So we'll just, just go ahead and tear this out. Kinda sad to see it go, but had to happen eventually. And I could use TNT to blow this up, but I want to keep those eggs. And some of that stuff will be useful too, to keep that. See, we don't have anything in here, I don't think. Nope. So I'll go ahead and take this down, and also the cocoa bean farm down, and I'll be back. And as I'm recording here, guys, I just uh, noticed I had a golden apple on my hotbar. I want to see if the... Uh, they give you the health boost here yeah so you get a temporary health boost that's one of the new features in the snapshot that I don't think I've mentioned yet uh, so temporary health boost of about a minute two minutes or so looks like so that's pretty cool and apparently you can eat them regardless of if you're hungry or not so that's pretty cool alright everybody so now the uh, the chicken farm is gone from over here I still do have to automate the production of potatoes and carrots. I still got that little farm there from a while back. And also the cookie machine is gone now, although we do still have the cocoa bean farm. Uh, next thing I want to improve around here is this bridge. Uh, someone in the comments suggested that a few episodes back. And I want to thank them for the idea. And yeah, it definitely needs an upgrade. Uh, this has been here since probably probably 1.9 pre-release 5 or somewhere in that range. Somewhere around when Minecraft first came out in the end of 2011. So it's definitely time for it to go. I also might upgrade uh, this creeper here. I might try to do something like put... Uh, we could try hardened clay, white hardened clay. That might look pretty cool. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. We got some hardened clay smelting up in here. Wow. Come on, door. There we go. Okay. Alright, so we got some hardened clay in here smelting up. I'll grab some of that. The one thing I wish was added to Minecraft would be the ability to uh, sort of wash hardened clay in cauldrons. Because once you stain it, it's stained for good like that. 
So it's kind of tough to uh, kind of tough to make if you're just like experimenting. It'd be cool if they made it like armor, leather armor, where you can wash it off in a cauldron. That would be really neat. But uh, let's go ahead and let's see if we put put a couple of blocks in here like that. Ooh, that well. Let's just see what that looks like. Let's see, we shift double click. I think. There we go. Let's see. Eh, it has like a pinkish hue. Nah, white clay will not work. Put that in there. We got some gray stained clay. Um, let's see. Let's get some other some other types of clay. Let's get some yellow, some red, some some blue. Uh, let's get some light gray, red, yellow, some black. Uh, let's see what else. What else do we want to get? We can get some. Uh, get some orange some light blue and what else uh, yeah I think that's I think that's good for now let's see we'll get this make some orange also make some pink I guess except that's not how you make pink that's how you make pink get some of that all right, let's try this out. Let's uh, let's do this. Make some orange. Make some red. Some yellow. Black. Light gray. Light blue. Pink. And we'll try some of these out. And while I'm doing this, and let me sleep through the night here, I want to talk a little bit about the channel. So we've been growing pretty steadily the last few weeks. And I think we're getting to the point where we need to have a channel intro. Um, I've said in the past that I didn't want to have a channel intro because it takes away from the video. But I've sort of reconsidered that position, and now I'd really like one. Um, so if any of you out there would like to make a channel uh, intro for me and send it to me, I may... Oh, hello, skeleton. You picked the wrong day to stay on the ledge, my friend. So if any of you are, are good with, uh, with like 3D video or anything like that, um, please feel free to make an intro for me. Uh, I'd like it to be no more than five or six seconds. Just something really, really short and quick. But I definitely would like to, uh, whoop, too far, to start on something like that. So feel free to send me uh, your ideas on that. And yeah, I might use some of them if they're, uh, they're pretty good. So that's what the red would look like. Let's uh let's get this side down. Let's see here. Let's see what the orange will look like. That's what the orange looks like. It's not bad. And also I've been considering uh playing other games as I said before. I'm looking right now into getting a uh HD PVR personal video recorder so that I can record uh, high definition video from the TV that way I could record console games like on PlayStation but I still have to get the PlayStation as well so there's that hmm. sort of like in huh I like the red the red's pretty nice. Let's try the pink here. See how that comes out. That's decent. Let's see the black here. 
black looks like brown to me but yeah looks a little like brown and light gray not too bad not too bad at all hmm yeah I sort of like the red but it's a little bold so fast forwarding a bit got the bridge done got the gray clay blocks and the red clay blocks there nice wide and spacious bridge I like it we're gonna leave the creeper guest alone for now I think uh, just because the white clay doesn't quite cut it at least in my opinion and so we're gonna keep this uh, for a little while see how we like it over time might change it in the future uh, but regardless, I got one other thing I want to do this episode, and that is start this map room, which I want to put here. Okay, everybody, so I was going to put the map room on the far side of the third floor of my house, but now I think I'm going to go ahead and set it down on the near side here. So we'll have, like, steps leading up here to this room. Uh, we'll go ahead and see if we can, we can take out some of this. Yeah, we'll take out some of this area. So we'll have to redo a little bit of the roof. Anything here? No? Okay, that's good. Uh, the bathroom is right beneath us. Uh, we'll have to deal with this. Looks like the shower, I left it on. I don't think we'll need that because dispensers no longer need to be powered in order to uh, work properly. They just have to have redstone going into them somehow. Um, so I think we can get rid of this. No. Well, here, let's, let's do this. Let's just pick that up, put that in there. Get that mushroom out of here. Let's see how we have this wired up here. Uh, we'll dig in here. Yeah, I think we just need this torch only here. Let's get down there and test it out. Yeah, let's drop down here test her out. Uh, so we will click this. And something's not working right. Hmm. Oh, huh. no block here. That would be a problem. So we'll fill it in with one. Yep, that's what we want to see. Nice. Okay. Click that. Hmm. Well, uh... Hmm. Okay, everybody. So, uh, the shower completely broke. And so I cut the video there and I went ahead and went to my creation world, super flat creation world, and designed a fully functional one wide shower that goes around a corner. So uh, let me show you exactly what we're going to do here. Um, so our that block right there, that mushroom block, will be where our lever is as it was before. So that'll turn on, the water will come down, and these pistons here behind these two blocks will shoot out, closing off the shower. And let's see how we're going to do this. Let's see, so we're going to have a torch here, and right there, okay. Uh, next we will have a piston down here, sticky piston, like that. And so when we turn this on, this piston should push out like that, which it does. Okay. On that, we're going to have a block of redstone. Okay. And then from here, we're going to do this. We're going to have redstone come up like that. So that'll control uh, the door to the shower. So let's see that in action. Okay, door pops out. Door goes back. Okay, fantastic.
So that's that portion. Okay, uh, now we gotta wire up the dispenser, and the dispenser has to pulse twice. Um, so basically it has to pulse when the lever is down, and when it's up to turn it on and off, basically. Um, that way it'll be fully functioning, and we won't have to flick the lever a bunch of extra times. So we're gonna pull, place a sticky piston down on top, like, like that, facing this way. We'll put a normal block, so we'll just use we'll just use cobble here. Normal block like that. Uh, let's see. Then we will want to place a. This is going to get tricky here. We'll want to place a normal block on top of the redstone block. Place a repeater on top of that, facing away from the redstone torch, like that. Okay. Another block there. Redstone on it. And then a block, let's see, I believe there and there. And that'll have redstone going to it. Repeater there. Block there. Redstone there. And that should do it. And let's test it out real quick. Not with water in there, of course. But we'll put in some slabs. Okay, there's one. Door came out. And another one shot out, and the door retracted. So that should be working now. Let me go sleep through the night, and we'll test it out. Okay, so we're ready for our test. Just putting in the final glass panes here. And I wasn't really anticipating working on this project this much, but we did. Uh, so let's try it out. Water comes on. In the shower, the door's closed. Turn it off, water goes away, door opens. Fantastic. So we actually made it even more compact than it already was. Alright. Fantastic. Good stuff. Okay, so now that we fixed the shower, we're going to go ahead and continue our work on the map room. So we'll go ahead and fill this in with wood where we can. So I think that that's good there. And then we can fill... Uh, what I want to do is I want to eventually make this uh, area the uh, the main area for the map room so we'll go ahead and get rid of all these half slabs and we'll make the surface this wood surface here the base of the map room and that does mean we will have to cover this hole up here because uh, the reason is because we can't uh, put like a full block here otherwise that would output just the water bucket item not the not the water so what we'll do is we'll put a crafting table right over that so we'll just do something like that problem solved we'll put that there and we'll probably Let's see, we'll probably just have something like, uh, hmm, well, maybe not, maybe not a crafting table. We'll figure out something to put right over that spot, though. Uh, we can put carpet over that and over that, but not over, not on the side, not, not over that, not freestanding. Okay. Um, hmm, we can't put a half slab there. We'll figure out something. I'll go ahead and clear out this area, uh, get some walls up, put some carpet down, and we'll see where we're at. All right, everybody. So I've made some major progress on the map room. Let me just get some pearls here. I'll go up and show you the inside of it as it stands now. So here's the inside of it as it stands now. Got a three by three window on this side, uh, looking at the giant mushroom and the desert and the wolf arms. Uh, this is where our maps will go. We'll, I want to have sort of a local map and a big map. Uh, so we'll have two different maps here. Uh, and then we have the windows on this side. And then eventually I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to bust through this wall. And we could have sort of like a, like a lounge area back there with like a fireplace and... Uh, a big window to overlook sort of this this bay area back there that could be kind of cool and I think we can go all the way up to 
all the way up to there so we can have this whole area go back into a room like in this this region here so that that should be pretty cool uh, once we get to that but not not quite yet for that all right uh, so yeah we got these half slabs around the side uh, I gotta make some gotta make some item frames I'll need a bunch of those and what I think I'll do is I'll put uh, put these in like a four by four pattern so I'll go one two three four by one two three four and then leave a two gap space and then go one two three four on this side so we'll have a local map four by four and a big map that's four by four okay so we got the rest of our item frames so we'll just throw those down in a four by four grid here alright that looks pretty nice um, let's see here. We'll go ahead and then also put down some carpet. And I think we'll go with the green carpet here. Oh, yeah, that looks nice. That looks real nice against the wood. I think. Uh, we don't want it floating in the air. Put it over that. Covers up that. Uh, we'll put some this way. Yeah, that looks pretty good, I think. We'll cover this whole area here. Alright, looks like it's getting a bit dark. And we'll put, uh, put torches on the sides here. Just like that. Right there. Probably need some over here and here. And there. Okay, everybody, and so we got the carpet uh, laid out. And so as far as what else we can add in this room, uh, we can obviously add some of the maps. So this is one of the, the bigger maps. So I'm going to go ahead and put this, uh, we'll put this, put this in the top middle right there. So that'll be the first map we have there of the zoomed out version. And we'll make the uh, close-up version over here. We'll also... Uh, Let's see, we'll also put some paper in here so we can make some maps in the future and put them in here. Um, let's see, what else? We could also put some type of border around here. Uh, we could do something like, like that. Eh, nah, not like that. Doesn't look that great. We could put them on the outside, though, maybe. Something like that. Yeah, that doesn't look too bad. Maybe some, maybe some type of border uh, would look good around around these. But uh, for now, I think I'm just gonna leave it as it is. I like the I like the color of the uh, carpet and the surrounding uh, surrounding brick slabs. And we need to get rid of that. There we go. Nice, okay, so map room is up and running. Uh, I'll probably modify this room a little bit as we go forward, but uh, I think the basis of it is, is pretty good. Um, so now, uh, I think that's gonna be all for me today. Uh, I know a lot of you guys are looking forward to horses in 1.6 in these snapshots, and I promise you, they are coming next episode. So next episode, we will venture out. We will find a horse somewhere in the world. Uh, we'll probably go. We'll probably go that direction uh, to find one. But we will find one, and we will bring some back. So we will have some, and we might also do some caving and mining because uh, we can find. We can find stuff now like name tags and uh, also horse armor. So that would be that would be awesome if we found something like that. Okay, so horses are coming next episode, so stay tuned for that. And now it is time for our highlighted channel. Let me see what kind of pick I got. Let me grab my Fortune 3 pick. And let's see, where is it? There we go, Fortune 3. We'll head down to the mine shaft. 
and we'll see if today's highlighted channel is after killing all these mines. Good God. All right, everybody, down here in the mine shaft now. And before we dig out this mine shaft here, uh, I want to tell you guys about the new point system that I came up with uh, for the leaderboards. Uh, so along with the most diamonds mined, we also have this new point system. Uh, so for every diamond I mine out of the mine shaft, uh, there'll be 40 points. Every piece of iron will be 20 points. Gold, 15 points. Redstone, 10 points. Lapis, 5 points. And coal, 2 points. Uh, so hopefully that will be uh, pretty reasonable. And so that's, uh, that's what we're going to do for this, this season here. So let's see, we'll put the sign on the right side here. And we actually have two highlighted channels this episode. So the first is Gabriel Wildman. And Gabriel is a longtime supporter of mine. Uh, he actually suggested that we go ahead and build a new bridge, which we did in this episode. So thank you, Gabriel, for your support and for the ideas. And this is your mind shaft. Let's see how you do against the other competitors. Okay, everybody, so just finished digging out Gabriel's mine shaft, and we got all these resources here. So I calculated it up, and it's a total of 1,647 points for Gabriel. Okay, everybody, so today's final highlighted channel is a user named Jendu Genedu. So Jendu doesn't have any videos up currently, but uh, they left a useful comment on my last video saying that I should get an intro and I thought about it and I thought yeah that's gonna be a lot more professional and uh, it's probably a good idea to get an intro and channel art so again uh, please send me uh, an intro that's about five seconds long if you are any good at uh, animations or uh, anything like that um, and also channel art if you're good at uh, creating uh, art so, Jendu, thank you for the comment. This is your mind chef. Let's see how you do against the other competitors. All right, everybody. So, just finished digging out Jendu, Jenadu's mind chef. And we got these resources. So, eight diamonds. Pretty decent. Amazingly, we didn't get a single piece of coal. But that's okay. So, I'll come down here. And so, that means that... Gonna do will go on both leaderboards here, so I'll go ahead and change this one, and then also put her on this one uh, for the points. All right, everybody. So Gabriel Wildman leading the points right now with Gendu a close second, and I think that's gonna be all for me today, guys. I tr I'm trying to keep the episodes a little bit uh, on the short side, around 20 minutes or so. Uh, but I also want stuff to happen in the episodes, so I want there to be actual content here. Wow, that's a lot of mobs. Jeez. Look at this zombie. Good God. He's tracking me from a mile away. That's impossible. But I think, uh, I think that's new, actually. I think they can, they, zombies can now see you from pretty far away. And gotta be a little bit careful, because he might spawn a friend. Because they can now spawn other zombies too. And wow. This is getting pretty intense. Not gonna lie. Anyway, guys, uh, thank you all for watching. And next time, horses. So stay tuned for that. This isn't Cub Fan. Goodbye.